I was talking to this guy whom I met through a friend. So apparently, my friend posted me on her WhatsApp status. And then this guy saw my picture and started asking for my contacts. That, oh, he wants to be friends with me. He wants to get to know me. He wants to date me. And at the time, I was very actively dating someone. So when she told me that, oh, there was this guy in my contact list that wants your number, blah, blah, blah. I told her, oh, have you told the guy in question that I'm in a relationship? Because if he's coming to come and toast me or something, I'm not open to that because I'm already in a very serious relationship. And she was like, oh, yeah, I told him, but he just wants to be friends with you. So it's not a big deal. And I said, okay. So fast forward, she gave my number to this guy and then every once in a while he would text me how are you how's your day every time i post like guys literally every time i will post this guy will come and comment on it on my whatsapp every time i will post a picture of myself he would come and pass one comment or another like nice comments you know sweet comments and all of that and he was always asking to take me out like constantly for like a full year between 2021 to 2022 this guy kept asking when can i take you out i just want to have lunch with you i just want to have dinner with you i just want to get to know you and i kept telling this guy i am in a relationship and i know i'm not married i mean it's just a relationship but i will not be open to my man going on dates with other guys while he's with me so I don't think doing that to him would be very appropriate. And so I kept declining all his invites and all of that. And so finally, my relationship with the person I was with ended. So I think six months after my relationship ended, as usual, I posted again and this guy commented on it. And then he was like, when can I take you out? So I said, okay, yes, I mean, since I'm single now, I'm open to going on dates so yeah I'll honor your invitation then I mean typical of a Ghanaian man he asked are you no longer in a relationship because you always use that relationship as an excuse not to meet me or have lunch with me or have breakfast or dinner with me and I was like oh we are no longer together I mean things ended between us then he was like, okay, he would love to take me out on a dinner date. And I said, cool, that's fine. So he selected the day or date. And then he asked if I have any places in mind. So I suggested a venue. It was a restaurant inside um, Cantonment. So on the day of the dinner date, I met him at the venue. So I lived, I lived at Teshi at the time, um, Teshi Bush Road. I don't know how many of you live in Accra and know Teshi, but from Teshi to Cantonment is not really far. And this guy lived around um, Kwabinya. So I would have asked him to pick me up, but it would be very inappropriate to ask him to come all the way from there to pick me up at Teshi before taking me to the venue of the date. So I just suggested that, okay, I was going to meet him there. And then probably after the date, he'll drop me at home. And he said, okay, cool. So I went on this date. I mean, we had a good time. We started talking, trying to get to know each other and all of that. And then he asked me when things ended between um, the person I was dating. I said, and, I, and I said, oh, six months ago. I mean, it hasn't been so long, but I feel like I'm ready to go out and have fun not dates necessarily but i'm ready to open up to other people and see where their mind or where their head their head is at so i asked him um are you single he said yes and i said really how long how long ago and he said three months and i was like three months is that enough time for you to I mean, move on or want to move on with someone else. 
or want to like sorry want to go on dates or want to get to know other girls three months is very like short for someone to heal from any kind of relationship and then i asked how long did you guys date then he said five years and i said you guys dated for five years like five whole years and you want to use three months to get over this person how i mean that should have been my first cue like my first red flag but since nothing was said i mean it was just a normal casual date right so my mind didn't really go there so i was like nah three months is too short to be wanting to move on from a five-year relationship i mean anything could happen and two of you could like come back together it's five years not like some six months relationship or you know five years is a long time so i don't think three months is enough for you to be wanting to move on from this person and this guy was like oh i've healed up like i want to move on i want to explore my options blah 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 and i said okay fine that's not a problem but me <clears throat> on the other hand i'm not in a rush to go into any relationship i just want to explore and have fun get to know people so this is going to be a very long process i mean i'm not rushing to enter into anything with you but we can keep talking to see where this goes and he said okay cool that's fine fast forward he dropped me at home and um i mean it was a good date it was a good night um subsequent days he kept checking up on me how are you how's your day did you go to work how was work tell me about tell me about your day blah 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 you know normal stuff and then once in a while he'll send me money um use it for your transport he calls it transport allowance so he was like use it for your transport to work i know um your pay is not much and you don't drive you're always picking uber to work so I mean, it's just something small to support you. And I was like, okay. I mean, this guy is, seems like he's kind. I mean, it would be rare for a man who hasn't had anything to do with you, who is just talking to you, to be like extending help or be kind to you like that. In this day and age, I mean. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I mean. He seemed like a nice person. So fast forward, I um, posted, I did a content of our date night, right? And I posted it on my TikTok. And the video happened to have like a lot of rich. The video went viral, kind of. And then that was where everything started so after i posted that video on tiktok and the video went kind of viral i mean i got a message on my instagram so before this video when we went on the date at the time i was using a phone that wasn't so good i think i was using an iphone 8 at the time because i had lost my iphone 12 that I was using, I was robbed, and then they took my iPhone 12 from me at the time. So when we went on this date, this guy had, I think the latest, it was 13 Pro Max at the time. He had that, and then he also had a 12 Pro Max that he claims he wasn't using so much. He only uses it for business calls and other things, but his main phone that he was using was, was his 13 Pro Max. So while on the date i told him that oh because my phone wasn't so good and i want to like record some you know videos of the food and blah 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 i needed like quality videos so i said oh could i use your 12 pro max to you know film this and then i'll just save it in my snapchat and then later i'll get on my phone and i'll get a quality video and he said okay cool that was the first mistake i made guys I know you people will come for me, but 
two years ago i had this mindset that every person was a good person until you do something bad to them or until you wrong them i mean i thought everybody has like a good mindset the reason i'm saying this will play out in um moving forward you guys will understand why i said that so i logged into my snapchat on this guy's 12 pro max to take the videos of the food and the drinks and the place like where we went to generally then i saved it in my snap obviously when you save videos in your snap it will come straight to your camera roll i mean that's what i've done on my phone so i took those videos i saved them i posted the ones i needed to post and i logged out of my snapchat on his phone on his 12 pro max so um after the video i posted on tiktok went viral i got a message on my instagram before then my tiktok right i've done a certain subject if you are not following me or if we are not following each other you cannot send me a message on tiktok unless you follow me or unless i follow you before you can send me a message and even if you send me the message it will come as a request or something like that and i think it was the same with instagram too but a lady sent me a message on instagram and you know instagram notifications you see it will pop up as a request like a new request so i checked my instagram and then someone a lady had taken a screenshot of the date night video i posted and then sent it to my dm on instagram and asked is this so so and so person in this video and i'm not going to mention names so let's just say i'll give the guy a name let's just say quizzy right so the girl sent me a screenshot of the video and asked is this quizzy in this video and guys the date night video that i made right i shot the video such that this guy's face did not show it was just a part of his arm that showed in the video the video is still on my page it was just a part of his arm that showed like partially and then the shirt that he was wearing that showed like partially in the video so for someone to send a screenshot and actually recognize the person in the video just by their hand and their shirt it was baffling to me like i was asking myself who is this person and there's a saying in chi or something that's obi nim na dia no nim or something like that right so the person asked is that crazy in your video and i was like um who are you again like i don't know you you can't just come on my instagram and be asking me um is that so so and so in my video then she went on to say if that is the person in the video i just want to know if he is your boyfriend and i was like hey why in ye? <laughs> so i was living with my friend at the time um i call him my sister so i showed her the message i was like this is the message i got after posting that video that went um that went viral kind of someone is asking about the guy i went out with and is asking if he's my boyfriend and she was like he's not my boyfriend abby we are just trying to get to know each other so i should just tell the person that he's not my boyfriend and i said okay so i texted back i was like he's not my boyfriend is there any problem then she was like the guy in your video is my boyfriend of five years and we're just having some misunderstandings only for me to come on tiktok and see that he's on a date with another lady and i was like oh okay okay and she was like yeah so she just wants to know if two of us are dating or going out or what exactly is going on 
And guys, before I actually... <laughs>